Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a high converting landing page for TikTok. Now, as you know, I'm sure TikTok has grown in popularity massively over the last couple of years. And so if you've been thinking about creating content on TikTok, or maybe you already are creating content in TikTok and have a ton of followers, or you don't have any followers or very little followers, this method, this landing page that I'm gonna be showing you in this video is going to work for you. So before we jump in, I just wanna say, in this video, I'm gonna be using ClickBank Accelerator. Accelerator is an all-in-one landing page and funnel builder built for affiliates by affiliates. And so if you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link down in the description below for you to check out. So with TikTok, it's gonna be really similar to Instagram in that your link, your bridge page link or your affiliate link is gonna live directly in uh, the link in bio section of your profile. So let me just show you an example really quick. You can see this is a, a theme page that I found on TikTok and you can see that um, they have a whole bunch of content. It looks like it's related to uh, smoothies and detox smoothies and things like that. But if you go to the link in their bio, it will pull up this page and you can see all of these different links. And so the first one is the smoothie diet. The next one is uh, this newly discovered juice awakens metabolism. The next one is can you commit to keto for 28 days? Every single one of these here are all just different affiliate offers that they're promoting. So if you click through on them, it's going to take you to uh, through their hop link into a vendor sales page. So that's all they're doing here is just showing, you know, what is this five, five different affiliate offers that they're promoting. So that's one way of doing this, right? You can create a theme page, you can create a link in bio page similar to this, and then you can just have different CTAs to go out to your different affiliate offers. But in this video, I'm gonna show you actually instead of doing that, how to create a page that lives in your link in bio that warms somebody up to then go and buy on a vendor sales page. And the page that we're gonna be creating is what we call a bridge page. Now, if you're not familiar with what a bridge page is, a bridge page is simply just a page that lives in between your uh, at your platform, like TikTok, where you're getting your traffic from, and then the vendor's sales page. So the bridge page is essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's the bridge from TikTok to the vendor sales page of the offer that you are promoting. And there's really two reasons why you wanna use a bridge page. The first reason is because a bridge page is um, the best at basically pre-selling or warming up the traffic that you're sending to the vendor sales page. So if you want higher conversion rates on the vendor sales page, tweaking your bridge page to frame up what the customer, the prospect is going to see on the vendor sales page is the best kind of lever to do that, right? Because you can set expectations, you can get them in the right mindset to then go and buy on the next page. So that's the first reason. And the second reason you wanna use one of these pages, and this is more for people who are um, actually gonna run paid traffic. In this video, again, we're just talking about TikTok organic content, not paid traffic. But if you are planning or considering running paid traffic, um, most ad platforms will actually require that you use a bridge page before um, you send someone to your hop link. So that, those are really kind of the two reasons why you would want to use a bridge page. Obviously for this video, the first reason, warming somebody up, pre-selling them, is the reason why we're gonna use it today. Now, one thing that I want you to keep in mind as you are building this bridge page is I want you to think about who is on TikTok, who your customer is and what they're experiencing before they would see your bridge page. So for example, you know if they're on TikTok, they're on their phone, right? They're on their mobile phone. So when we build our page, the page should be formatted in a way that looks good for mobile, right? The other thing we know is that TikTok's demographic generally tends to skew a little bit younger, okay? And we also know that on TikTok, someone is, um, is actively scrolling and actively consuming short form content. So when you're sending traffic to your page from TikTok, you wanna match the experience that they were having on TikTok, right? So make your page short, sweet, simple to the point, maybe even interactive, because that's gonna be the most similar experience that you can create um, to the traffic source they're coming from, which is TikTok, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create what we call a lead magnet uh, page or a lead magnet funnel. And essentially what this is gonna allow you to do is it's going to allow you to capture email addresses and it's gonna be very short, it's gonna be very sweet, it's gonna offer a gift to uh, someone coming from TikTok 
and it's gonna allow you to capture those email addresses, send someone to your vendor sales page, and then also give you the ability to remarket to them later on. And so I know if that was a lot coming at you all at one time, don't worry, we're gonna jump into it and I'm gonna walk through the entire thing. So the offer that I'm gonna use um, in our example today is this brain training for dogs uh, product. And I think this is a video course. Um, it helps uh, owners who have dogs that are um, experiencing bad behavior or aren't listening to their owners. It helps you kind of train your dog and get the dog to do the things that um, you want them to do, right? So if they are barking uncontrollably, you can get them to stop. You can see here if they're pulling on the leash, you can get them to stop doing that. You can get the dog to listen to you, right? So that's the product we're going to be promoting. Now, the important thing that I want to talk about, the important thing that you need to remember is when you're using a lead magnet funnel, you are requesting someone to give you an email address. And so um, in order to get somebody to feel compelled enough to give you their email address, you need to first give them something that they deem more valuable than their email address. So I want you to, I'm gonna say that one more time just so, you, so you, this really kind of drives home. You need to give them something that they deem more valuable than them giving you their email address. So you need to give them something that solves their problem in order for them to feel comfortable giving you their contact information, right? Because nobody just wants to like give out my emails and get you know, a bunch of spam emails or get a bunch of marketing emails or anything like that. So when you're creating a lead magnet funnel, it's very, very, very important that you create um, a free gift or an incentive that is compelling. So um, if we were promoting this offer, this dog training offer, I might create a, a PDF or an ebook or some sort of guide on how to get your dog to stop pulling on the leash because if somebody had that problem with their dog, then the value that they would get from not from having a dog that doesn't pull on the leash anymore, right? That you would teach them in your guide would be worth more to them than giving them giving you their email. So I'm in this video, I'm not going to show you how to actually make a lead magnet, but if you guys want to see how to make lead magnets for affiliate marketing, um, and actually a, a kind of a bonus here, how to sell through lead magnets in the product itself, in the guide that you're giving for free, um, leave a comment down below and that could be another video uh, where we dive more into that. All right, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and dive straight into Accelerator. So once I'm in Accelerator here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on new funnel. And the cool thing about Accelerator is once you're actually inside, there's all kinds of different templates to choose from, including a lead magnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on lead magnet. And now you can see the funnel is set up for us and we just need to go in and edit the elements. So if I come to the page here and click edit, I can now structure this page how I wanna structure it. So again, remember, TikTok traffic, what we're gonna be focused on is mobile. So I'm gonna switch this to the mobile view. And so now I'm gonna restructure this page and then we'll come back after it has copy and is kind of set in a different way. And then we'll go through why I have it set up the way that I do. All right, so now you can see I've made some adjustments to this page and it looks a whole lot different than uh, what we you initially saw. Um, and so I'm gonna walk through essentially what we're doing on this page. So obviously the, the biggest thing you'll see here is that we're talking about the free gift. Like that's our hook. That's what we're trying to entice people to take action on is to get this gift. So let's go ahead and start at the, at the top here with the headlines. You can see free gift and it's straight to the point, how to prevent leash pulling for good, right? It's the direct problem that someone who would be coming to this or someone who might even be interested in the end offer would directly align with, right? They either need to prevent leash pulling or they don't. They either have that problem or they don't. And we're making that qualification right off the front. And then we have a visual demonstration of what that looks like. And then underneath that, we say, tired of being pulled along by your dog while on walks, our free guide reveals how to break this habit once and for all. So again, we're just driving that home, that pain point, and then giving them the solution. Get access, a very clear CTA. And then at the bottom, I like to put this on all of our uh, all of our pages and right underneath our CTAs and say, if you're tired of dealing with X or Y, this is for you. Or you'll see me in some other videos maybe say, 
if you are tired of dealing with X pain point, Y pain point, Z pain point, this is for you. And really what we're trying to do here is I want you to take your copy and I want you, instead of putting X or instead of putting Y, think about what what problem they're trying to solve by getting this gift, what problem they're trying to solve by getting your end product. And more importantly, by not solving that product, or sorry, excuse me, by not solving that problem, what does that do for them, right? So this might be a really bad example, but the problem for this is leash pulling, right? So what, is, what, what does that do for them if they don't solve leash pulling? Maybe they wanna stop leash pulling because you know it pulls on their arm and it hurts their arm, or maybe it's just frustrating or annoying, or they just want their dog to have better behavior, right? If they don't solve that pro the problem of leash pulling, they have to deal with all of these other things, right? It being annoying, it being frustrating, it hurting my arms, right? So think about those things as you're trying to figure out what copy to put in this last section here. Okay, then the next thing I wanna walk through here is the button itself. So with a lead magnet, like I said, we're gonna be collecting email addresses. So if we click on the button, you'll see this form pops up. Now inside Accelerator, how you're gonna actually edit this form is by going back to your dashboard. Under My Funnels, you can click Forms, and then we'll just create a new form. And for the form name, we'll say dog training lead gen form, or I should say lead magnet form. And we'll just say for the submit button text, so this is after somebody puts in their email, like what is the button that actually pushes it through? We can let it say submit. I'm gonna have mine say get access. And then I'm gonna hit save. And then you can go ahead and, and actually choose what fields you want people to fill out. Now, I don't particularly care to get people's first names. I don't particularly care to get people's last names. Really what I'm after is the email address. And one thing to keep in mind is the more fields that you put on this form, the more qualified somebody will be, right? In most cases, but the higher the drop-off rate will be in terms of people who actually submit it. Because if you're asking people to take more actions, then the fall off is gonna be more. The amount of people who actually do it will be less. So that's one thing to, uh, to keep in mind. So I keep it really simple, just go with email and then we can hit save. And then now that that's done, I'll just remember my name here, dog training lead magnet form. I'll go back to my funnel manager and then go back to my lead magnet funnel. So we're back editing our bridge page here and what we're gonna do is we'll just go down to the CTA button. We'll hit settings, pop-up settings, and then if you're having a tough time kind of viewing it, what you can do is just choose one of these other forms or one of these views. And then you can just go through and what we're looking for is this under content and then you can choose your new form. So dog training form, and then you can change the text. So I'll say for here, stop leash calling for good and then enter your name and email. So we took away the name part, remember? So we'll just say enter your email below to receive your free guide. Perfect. So we'll just hit save and refresh preview. And then we'll hit X on this. And when we come back over to mobile, click on this button. Now you can see it looks exactly how we built it. We have our headline, stop leash pulling for good. Enter your email below to receive your free guide. We're asking for the email and then a get access CTA, which is just gonna submit that email once somebody puts it in, okay? So at this point, we're almost done. There's just one more thing we need to do. When somebody puts in their email, it's gonna, and they hit submit or they hit get access, it's gonna take them to what's called a thank you page. So we just need to edit that thank you page really quick. So I will just go back to my funnel view so inside the funnel view, if you go down, you will see this thank you page. So if we click edit page, I've already actually went through and built this page, but I'm just gonna walk you through what's on it really quickly. So again, this will be on mobile. So at this point, um, you have a lot of flexibility on how you wanna make this. If you wanna add images, you can totally add images. This is like a very basic thank you page. So you can really kind of design this however you want. But what we're trying to do here um, now is we've got the we've we've had the front page right the lead magnet page we've collected somebody's email address 
We've given them their free gift, which we'll send through email. If you guys wanna see more on how to actually pipe all of that and do all of that, let us know down below. And now they go to this thank you page after they submit their, um, their email. And now at this point, we need to convince them to click through this page and go to the vendor sales page. This is where we're gonna put our hop link. So you can see the top, it says, thanks, one last step. Your free guide is on its way, but if you're ready to prevent other common bad behaviors for dogs, click the button below, and then you can see I have a learn more button. This button is, is where you put your hop link or your affiliate tracking link, and it goes over to that offer that we're promoting, which is this, um, which is this dog offer. And then underneath that, I have again where it says, this is for you if, and then a couple of bullets. These bullets where we say, you tell your dog no constantly, your dog barks uncontrollably. Finding out like what to put here, I just took directly from the, um, the sales page, right? Because the sales page is going to have the right language for the prospect who is gonna be interested in something like this. So you can see, I said, your dog barks uncontrollably. Your dog is pulling on the leash. You need to train a new puppy. And that is what we used um, right below here for the bullet. So I highly recommend you do the same thing. If you're promoting an offer, look at the sales page, look at the affiliates tools page um, and tie in their copy to your pages. Because at the end of the day, all we're trying to do is we're trying to entice somebody to click on your CTAs. And then once they get to that sales page, you let the seller do the selling and then you collect an affiliate commission once they buy. And so one last thing here, if you're wondering how, okay, so I have my my page now so and I, I'm gonna create content on TikTok, like how do I actually make them link and like how do I make it work together? Basically, all you're gonna do is, um, the first thing you should do is you should buy a domain. Domains are really cheap. They're like six or seven bucks a year, depending on what you which one you get. Um, once you buy your domain, connect it to Accelerator. If you're using Accelerator, you can buy one directly through um, through the platform or you can connect an external domain to Accelerator. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna get the page URL uh, from the, um, the initial lead magnet page that you created. And then you'll take that and you'll put it in your bio on TikTok. So then when you create content, in your content, you can have CTAs that say, hey, go click the link in my bio. And then a user will watch your content, click the link in your bio, go to your bridge page, submit their email, go to the hop link, buy, and then you earn a commission. Now, obviously, there's tons of different pages you can make for TikTok. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this down below, or you wanna see us build other pages for other traffic sources, let us know down below. Again, in this video, we used Accelerator. Accelerator is ClickBank's very own landing page builder and funnel builder. So if you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for me today. We will see you in the next one.